I have something really exciting for you today. If I told you that this art was inspired by anime, by Makoto Shinkai himself, would you believe me? Yes. Well, okay. But would you believe me that this artwork was also done by AI, by feeding it informations of the movie poster of your name. Now I actually went to work and tried many different anime, many different anime posters and wanted them to turn into artwork. But before we do that, let me actually explain to you how I did all that and how you can do that as well with the AI I used. So what you want to do is actually head over to Midjourney, the Discord server of this AI, which I'll leave in the description down below. And there you have this Midjourney bot. Now, what you can do is make your own Discord server and invite it to your own Discord server or just type in in this chat image prompt and then generate your image. So for example, if we have this picture from the Going Mary of One Piece, then we can just type in slash image prompt, type in uh, what it's about, press enter and let it do its magic. So as we can see, we have a few different ships that we can choose from. The first one has a really interesting perspective. So let's actually upscale the first one to give it even more flair. As you can see, slowly it will generate more and more detail. So now that I've shown you how you actually do those kind of things, I took some time out of my busy schedule. What I mean by busy is just basically reading manga and anime and being unproductive and created some anime artwork in advance and we're spicing things up we're doing a little game right here first i'll show you the artwork and then you have some time to figure out which anime it's from so first up we got this one this one is a very pretty picture i got some different versions as well right here and i feel like this one is kind of hard to get and it's it's a little bit abstract because i messed around with the settings for the light and it's a bit yellowish even though in the original it's more orangey and the anime that it's from is your lie in April. Now, if you think Kaori looks kind of like a skeleton in here, that's because at the end of the anime, she is a skeleton. That was too much. Sorry, sorry about that. No, but it's because I wrote theater and I think it took theater as something more ancient and tried to do a little bit of a horror spin in it and made everything more skeletal, more thin. But yeah, as you can see, it still got the violin right. It's still, still got the elegant atmosphere and uh, it's still got the piano in the background, sadly without the main character though. Now here we have another picture that I feel is much more obvious. This one is probably one of the best and it's, if you couldn't have guessed it, it's Violet Evergarden. Here are the words that I used and I feel like it encapsulates the feeling of Violet Evergarden quite well. It got this vivid color, this very nostalgic and real feel to it. And it kind of had this very, very sad atmosphere that you know that there is something really sad about this picture. Yeah, I, I really like this one. So this one, this is quite funny. I don't think you'll get this one, but goddamn, this is pretty as fuck. <laughs> This is from Mob Psycho and the thing with this one is I wrote down cubes made out of city and I think the AI interpreted those words in the wrong way and it actually made a city out of cubes instead of a cube out of city. Misunderstandings like this happen quite a lot but it can generate some really cool and awesome artwork as you can see right here. Now other very interesting things that can happen is for example this one. Those are four artworks that I haven't developed yet but uh, try to think of what anime this could be. And the anime that this artwork was inspired by is Clannet. Now, Clannet has this scene with the teddy bear and the small girl in this huge field. And what I wrote is young girl standing in the middle of a grass plain holding hands with a teddy bear. And if you have two very specific subjects, then I noticed the AI just converts them into one. So we have a girl that also has the head as a teddy bear. And be mindful of that and try to avoid characters as much as possible. These artworks are kind of cool. I really like them. The, the colors are very vivid. Uh, that's because I wrote down vivid background and flat colors. So flat colors, it interprets as flat colors, not the color itself as being a flatter tone, a very desaturated tone. It actually thinks of flat colors as just a plain color. So this was actually inspired by Spy Family, the poster where Anya is in the middle and Lloyd and Yor are holding her hand. Now this one, this is absolutely amazing. 
and I feel like this one is also one of my favorites. It's the scene from Chainsaw Man with the hand coming from above the sky. Wow, that, that kind of sounded wrong. <laughs> in this scene, it envelops the skyscraper and tries to grab it. And if you've noticed in this picture, it actually doesn't grab the skyscraper, but it has a skyscraper on top of it, which I found kind of cute and funny. <laughs> it just gently takes it with his finger instead of just grabbing it and destroying the whole skyscraper. And here we have a image that looks straight out of the romantic era. And I feel like there's only one anime that you can kind of guess which this one was inspired by. Obviously, it's Attack on Titan. It looks like Attack on Titan would have looked in a movie setting after the Titans actually attacked the city. And I feel like this one is great as well. Also, funny enough, there are many failed attempts that I haven't shown you. It takes a lot of trial and error. For example, I can show you a, a picture of me just typing in Chainsaw Man and it actually made this. It made a horror villain out of poor Denji. Like, can you see Denji in this old man's face? I, I don't think so. Also, this is another failed attempt. You can guess the anime though. I think uh, if if you if you if you take a look at the right one, uh, you can actually guess the anime right here. It's erased. Um, it's it's from the poster of erased, and I feel like I got the basic details right. It's just two humans instead of four. But yeah, I just wanted to show off this AI because I feel like this is incredible. If you put enough time into it, then it will actually create stunning artwork. So what I want you to do in the comments now is tell me what your favorite artwork is. And if you want more of this very graphic design heavy content mixed with, with my love of anime, then please make sure to subscribe because next time we're actually taking a look at different anime logos. Or what I really want to do is experiment with anime effects in real life. So thank you so much guys for joining me today on this adventure of AI and I'll see you next time. Bye!